Magnar and welcome back to my modding tutorial series for Rome 2 Total War. In this episode I'm going to show you how to create a custom AOR area of recruitment system for your units so that you can restrict the recruitment of specific units to specific regions. Uh, so first thing we do, let's go into our unit base pack that we've been using or whatever pack you, you want to use is fine and then we will add the required table. There's only one table. So we'll right click or select and right click on the DB folder here once we've opened it up. Add from pack and then we'll select data run 2, open we'll open it up and we'll go down to region unit resources Uh, right here and right click that folder to add it and you can save rename just as we do in every episode uh, mag, shoot. save it again and here you can see all the different uh, the different existing um, Auxilia and the, the, the column you worried what wanted to focus on is this one here uh, the key and this is just a string saying what it is uh, which we don't really need so much but we can just put it in there for a description to remind us later uh, so the other tables will all look up the key column so first we can just delete everything except we'll just leave one uh, and then we will call our new region unit resource we can call it tutorial and it's a tutorial and we'll put it in the um, latium pro uh, region that will be the region we'll uh, assign the unit resource to so let's go tutorial uh, latium AOR. doesn't matter what you call that Okay, let's save that and we'll copy this key here and uh, now we can add it to the start pos to enable it uh, for that specific start pos. So we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to do it both through uh, ESF editor, through just going through the PFM and doing it and then I'll also show you how to do it through uh, assembly kit here. It's up to you which one you want to use. If you're going to do lots of uh, start pause changes, then I would suggest using assembly kit. But if you're going to do only a couple, then you would want to. You may just want to do it directly through PFM. Okay, so we're going all the way down to world, and we're going to go to. I want to go to region manager, the unit region resource. <laughs> kind of gives it away in the name of the table that it's assigned to regions. Then we're going to open up the array. And we'll find the array for Latium. So here we've got Cilicia. The kind of the code for each region it will be here. Uh, it might not be um, exactly as it is displayed in the campaign because uh, that's done through some text somewhere else. Uh, so there could be a little bit of a difference between what the Rome region is and what. Oh, there we go. There it is. Rome, Italia, Latium is what this region is called that we're going to add it to. And you can already see that there are already two. Uh, AORs uh, region resources already added down here and we're just going to add it onto the end and it's separated by a space uh, being separated by a space of course means that you can't put a space in your um, your unit resource key so you, otherwise it will think it's a separate key and we just paste it in there I always like to push delete at the end just to make sure there's no uh, new line characters or something at the end. When you copy from Excel or from a spreadsheet, a lot of the time there'll be an invisible character at the end of that, so I like to get rid of it by pushing delete just to make sure it deletes the last letter. Okay, so we've done that. We can jump out now. It's red. We also want it to be red over here before we save. And 
while we wait for that to uh, save, we'll jump over to uh, assembly kit and I'll show you how to do it there. So first, with assembly kit, we're going to want to set it up. So we're going to go down to region unit resources. And we have to put the key in because we can't put it, put these region resources into um, into the start pause in assembly kit unless we've actually already created the database table. So first we're going to add record and we can paste and here ah, I'll just paste it as well you'll notice that the string here doesn't have, can have spaces in it by looking at the, uh, the vanilla entries okay and we can apply that and then we're going to jump over to the start pause table Okay, so we go to start pause, region to unit resources, open that up. And here, if you, it uses a number to refer to the region. Uh, by having this as lookup values, you can see the link here. If you just want to see what the number is, you can just go underlying up there and it shows you what that code for that region is. So while we find Latium, let's have a look here. Uh, here it is. So we can come down and we'll just put in our, uh, firstly put in our resource uh, code and then we'll copy the Latium region code. Okay. And that's all there is to that. So just apply it. And now when you build the start pause through assembly kit, uh, if you're not sure how to do that, there's an earlier tutorial showing you how to build the start pause. And then, then that start pause will be already automatically build that uh, AOR system into it. Over here, we've already put it in manually and we can save it now. And the last thing we have to do is we have to assign that AOR to a unit. So we select the copy the key again, just make sure we have it in our clipboard. And then we go to the main units table. In the main units table, we go right near the end to this column here, region unit resource requirement. And we can put that code into there. So if we want to say make these slingers only available in Rome, just paste it in there. If you want to have a unit available in multiple uh, AORs so you don't want to create a custom one for it you can also just copy clone that row and it will double up everything and then you just accept for the uh, region unit resource and it's perfectly fine you'll, you'll have no problems with that even though the PFM will probably say that there's an error it'll still be fine I'll just show you right now Clone rows. I'll need a different resource though, won't I? Okay, let's go to region unit resource again. I'll just pick a random one. And you see here, it's got some warnings. And even if I've done that, it's still going to have warnings because it's the same unit twice. But it will load and it shouldn't have any problems because it's actually going, it's actually two separate units uh, recruit from two separate areas. Of course, I have to uh, change the code to be a unique ID, but that's, yeah. That's pretty much all there is to it. So thanks for watching, happy modding, and I'll catch you next time.